Hey Cancers, welcome. This is uh, Scorpio Seasons Read, the sun in Libra to Scorpio, October 2024. You may um, watch this whenever. To keep that in mind, um, I'm also channeling. Thank you guys for your support on this channel. Keep an open mind with how the message may come through, uh, if you will. Otherwise, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a very different reader, guys. Like, I'm a ch I'm doing clearing. I'm a shamanic uh, Reiki healer. Okay, so, and I have my way of clearing the energy. I am a Pluto rising, Mars in the 8th. I work through some portals here. So, yes, uh, please keep an open mind. Otherwise, um you're probably best off unsubscribing. I'm not going to ever change the way that I channel, especially uh, not for anybody who comments, uh, you know, critiques how I am working with my spirit team here. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Thank you for your understanding. I know some people, you know, they, they, they think there's someone out there with a the keyboard. So um, no, and uh, you're not going to be telling a channeler how they channel. Okay, so I'm just going to have that right out the gate. Thank you for those of you who are longtime viewers, star seeds, oracles yourself, and who uh, respect these secret okay text that we read now let's get into it thank you for tuning in and i am a reading on a querent light worker i'm not reading for reptilioid frequencies as my querent now let's jump in here uh i'm hearing scorpio some of you here you have a major contract coming up uh you're going to have to be really strong and really firm in this month of october someone here and you you've had yeah you wow look at that the friend card in reverse lawyer upright you're gonna have to really really cut a cord here okay i'm hearing for some of you tonight night it could be when you're watching this okay something is not going to work anymore cancer and you have to sort of make that just your decision point blank period you can't go back on that and i feel like someone here would love for you to but you're not and so you are going to have to detach from someone i see that as well with the friend card in reverse someone here was not um who they needed to be with you you gave them one too many tries one too many chances and this is a test on you now that's how it's starting to feel so let's get into it further here i'm going to get a card for each of the days of october throat chakra yeah this person some of you this is a real uh this is an evil entity okay who was just heckling on you they were on your back gaslighting you narking on you trying to at least and you kind of figured out their little yeah i'm hearing dwindling yeah you, you know the connection's dwindling away they were trying to make it seem like y'all are oh you're in perfect uh fine spirits and you are um you know <sighs> such great friends no y uh, you are deciding for yourself how you're going to interpret who this person is to you mm -hmm. very manipulative person uh you cannot trust this person i feel as well you're realizing that you um don't need to okay you don't have to see everybody in a highlight okay you you know i mean what uh, no no thanks though uh i don't need to be friends with everybody i'm hearing that as well someone was trying to kind of enable your kindness um they really misunderstood where it is you're headed to next uh maybe you were in a different energy uh with them at a certain point and usually with true light workers it's per your guides true light workers i say this all the time you know um yeah they were misunderstood i'll leave it at that let's get here into the next read mm -hmm. of second week something about a kitchen yeah some of you're gonna move out of a certain uh Space. you're moving literally it can be some of you this person you're moving energetically um they're not finding you anymore where they used to on the astral that's for certain they're very frustrated cancer you need to know that you really unplug someone here and you're going to be feeling the vibe a much higher lighter vibrating for you energy coming in um now that you detach from this frog that's what i'm hearing with the madman and the gang card this person wanted to wind you up in something that they were inevitably headed towards themselves they are for some of you going to be caught up with the law with something here i am seeing that for someone some of you hear this person it could be the the absolutely i mean that's even fucking i would say scary of the spiritual law um <clears throat> yes the spiritual fbi no Ah, this person is not doing well on planet earth and they're going to be called up and they sure know it so you were good for them and they were trying to gaslight you i'm here like this again and again you know yeah um mm -hmm, to still interact with their um i'm hearing dwindling you told them point blank your your vibration is dwindling some of you it's a it's like an investment shit I, I don't know it's like i don't see the investment here no they're trying to sell you on the fact that no there is an investment here um no no like you are not seeing you're not seeing it okay so they're trying to manipulate you and make you look some kind of way they were trying to even manipulate you into investment um into a certain opportunity here that you were not actually in resonance with though okay then so your guide stepped in and cut that cord really hard on the second and third week uh in october you're gonna see these people the ugliest side that uh-huh 
Uh, again, I, like I said, I'm a shaman. I do energy clearing and practices of, uh, yeah, chakra work while I am reading your first field here, okay? I'm talking to my light workers here. I'm not reading on my reptilioid frequencies, okay? You guys are perfectly, you can sit all you want, um, mm -hmm, but it'll just make you recline all that quicker. Uh huh. And uh, mm -hmm, eight, eight is a little bit too shallow, <laughs> okay? So, so according to the guys when you in our chat and trying to fuck with our energy, some of you here, this person was trying to mess with you. You could be a terror, uh, yeah something going on you're gonna know what this is they were coming into your they were trying to fuck with you now uh huh something about your diet some of you whenever you're talking to this person your diet was changing you weren't in a good energy um mm -hmm. and some of you they masqueraded they tried to serenade and they try let me tell you now they tried to delude you and disillusion now listen they are a shadow bearer they are a neptune holder of the dark and you are not of the dark side and you deserve someone who is light like you they do exist, and you realize that, and you even said it. You said it, okay, without regrets. You said, I know, I see only a half of what I can be looking at right now, and I've dismissed you forever, okay? You don't, no. I do not see value in your proposition and that's that. Some of you, you're in a power power move space. And you know, okay, I, I have a lot of options here. And I realize I'm a manifester and a creator. So I'm going to put out there what it is that I feel I deserve. And it doesn't have to be what you're offering me. This person wants to tell you, no, no, no. They're very pushy and very, 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 I'm hearing, they're very, they're very sneaky, sly, and surreptitious. They want you. And that means that then you got to accept that? Nope. Not in this lifetime. You're you're in the power seat. Some of you, this person, yeah, this is a somebody in the past life who was uh, someone out here, maybe. Okay, we're in the present, and we consider the past life, and that's not looking good on your record, by the way. Yeah, no, that works against you. Some of you are very psychic. You remember. You remember how they treated you, and this person now wants to make friendship with you now. No, I'm here something about the Capricorn read. The, the reading for, it was um, Sagittarius, yeah. They tried to delude you, see this? They tried to do mind spells on you, 100%. They tried to get you feeling lighter and more... Mm -hmm. You have a Navajo Indian tribe here who's not fucking with this energy. They tried to do lull spells on you so that you would be kind of in this uh, really lovely energy with them. No. You are in the driver's seat. And yes, sometimes spirit puts you in the passenger. But that's only if spirit is driving. And this person here coming around thinking that they're going to drive you somewhere now. Fuck that shit. I hear it like that. Fuck that shit. I hear it like that. This person, not, I'm saying Disney, is not in no driver's seat. The guides here, they, mm -hmm, I'm going to say it, you know. Cancer, you are not naive. I'm here and you have a knife behind your back. It's not what you hold, though. It is it, is the devil himself who works for you. And he holds that knife behind your back for you because you are the light and he knows that. But when you need to call on him for your protection, guess what? It won't be Waldo they're looking for. Because, cr oh, cr I'm hearing crutch, crutch. Trust me. They're going to be wondering who, who got them like that. Guess what, Cancer? The devil works for you too. When you're truly, genuinely in the light, you are to be feared. Not just for what you know, because you are so intuitive and you have so much knowledge and wisdom. I'm talking to high vibrating Cancers here. It's who you know. And who knows you are truly good for this planet. And they want to keep you around. And they, they fight for you behind your back, Cancer. These are, these are the, the, yes, the, the dark bearers. Those who truly are the dark and not just the wizards who want to be somebody out here and do some fucky spell work on you. I'm talking to those who want to be. Seen as someone on the galactic, the the astral uh, warlocks and bandits, the astral warlocks and wannabe. Okay, yes, key key holders. Uh uh. The dominion of dark works on your on your on your time, Cancer. I hear it like that. 
They have come to respect you to they bow down. The, the, let me tell you, cancer, the dark, okay? Let me tell you, cancer, the dark bows down to you, okay? You know, you know that, and you telling them, you should have known not to fuck with someone like me. These people are going to get their karma in this month of October for messing with a chosen one. I'm not talking to everyone in this reading who's viewing. Some of you, I mean, some of a nutmeg. Someone was doing spell work behind your back, huh? Well, get in there. That could be any form of it. Spell work is spell work. Spell work, black magic, can be talking ill. Even to themselves about you. That was taken seriously by your spirit team. Okay, and then this month of October, Cancer, you will have redemption and you will receive confirmation that you have been saved. I hear it like that. You are one of the last on this earth that holds a vibration as strong as you do. And that's why they want so badly... To be good now in your graces. But guess what? That place is heavily gated. And you don't even have the key. Let alone this fraud of a frenemy. Okay? You know, you know, Cancer, that you don't owe nobody your key. They have been spying on you, is what I'm hearing from your team. Your spirit team want, your spirit team is telling me to tell you, Cancer, that they have been spying on you to get some answer, some information. And guess what? I see someone standing behind you who you do not know, Cancer, protecting the shit out of you. They are on assignment. All they do is watch your back for you and make sure that nobody thinks twice when they think once it's enough an ill thought about their about their god you are seen as a god cancer you are a god you are more than human and you are protected as hell and you don't have anything to prove of yourself, and you know that, I hear that. But these people know not why it is that their spell work doesn't work, that their spells are returned to their own doorstep in the mornings. Every night that they think ill about you, they wake up with illness inside of them growing. Dare they not fuck with you, Cancer, ever again. I hear it like that. I see a serpent encircling your haters. They fear you now, Cancer. And they don't even know why. They don't know why now they used to... Give themselves freedom to trespass on what is considered your sacred life story. And now, cancer, they fear the shit out of you. And they don't understand what happened. Why it is that I didn't fear this person and now they are turning into the devil themselves. That's because you have two sides to you, cancer. And I'm not saying that you are the one who is bringing this fear. You don't do eye for an eye. My chosen ones, you don't do eye for an eye. Your eye's precious. You'll never give that away. You heard? Okay. And now? They feel... Something is following them, and they are correct. It's not something. 
It's someone who is looking after the chosen. Oh, yeah. You better know how to deal with the dark when you have your eye on the light. Don't think that you wanted what was yours, Cancer, what belonged to the light. That is not just a naive proposal. This person, mm -hmm, you know who you are. This person, you guys, I'm not because they tried to do destiny spell work. Let me tell you right now. This person will bring death to their own doorstep. I'm hearing tomorrow for some. For what they tried on you to change your fate of what brings you light in your life, joy in your life. You know who you are. I see a little elephant here. You are remembered. It's not just what you did in this lifetime. It's what you continue to cease to recall of how guided you are, Cancer. This person keeps testing your ancestors and your, and even your enemies. I will tell you now, these people who tried on you. Come on now, Cancer. They can't sleep at night. These people are had they sleep. They wish they had a third eye to keep up with, so they those, uh, those other two could yeah they could keep them shut and get some shut eyes. These people not getting sleep. Your guides are fucking with them. Mm hmm. Nobody has mercy in the astral kingdom anymore. For who ceases to. Remember, you are protected. And at that point, Cancer, when your guides cut the cords and you're no longer fucking with the projectile of energy from these wannabe warlocks and these wannabe, these motherfucking wannabe spiritual leaders I'm hearing as well. Wow. That's when your guides go after these people and they are not as kind as you are. Okay, you, when your guides cut that cord and it then is between them and the astral ancestral tribes, shit gets fucking weird out here is what I hear. And guess what, Cancer? You know not a thing about it. And they would love to say now that, oh, look, she's, they don't have time to project nothing else to you. I see a fire here. I feel heat in the left ear. These people will have one last story they tell. Under your name, Cancer, should they try to ever, they'll be given one last try. Your guy's looking at these people saying, it's an entity. Go ahead. You have one last conversation. Talk about her one more time behind her back. What will you say? What will you say about her for her on her behalf? On her own behalf. What are you going to say? This person I'll tell you now. Spinning in circles. They're spinning in motherfucking circles. They see now. Who follows you? Who protects you? And they're going to give those fucking scissors back. I hear it like that. This person was doing spell. I see it. I see it. I see you have Ganesha following you. I see it. I see Ganesha. That's right. The elephant makes sense. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Hi, Isaac. Isaac jumped out of his cage. Isaac got out of his, his cage. He's smelling my leg right now. Okay. That's right. Ganesha. Ganesha, come. Gonna take those fucking scissors out of your hand. Because guess what? Guess what? I'm hearing Callie. They don't use hands in the spiritual realm to pull shit back when you're pulling our energy field. When we play push-pull on the astral now, guess what? 
<laughs> Return it to sender! We got tentacles that we use, and we're gonna wrap you up and wind you like a voodoo doll, bitch! Uh-huh! And you! Oh, her! Your soul! You owe her! This person's life will be taken. This person owes you cancer. Your life back. What they tried on you. You, you, you were, you were spiritual bait. But you ain't beta, bitch. You alpha. Spirit remembers for this person. What is a, what is, what is whose? And that's the fucking last time you will ever take scissors to her story. This person tried to do a life spell on you. I'm seeing that loud and clear. You hush whatever you want under your breath. It's your silence, the spirit, the spirit, yes, okay, ick, I'm hearing ick. Spirit takes those scissors, I tell you again, what you take as a weapon upon another will be turned on you. Spirit is going to give you, I Amir, mean, your sister's life back. That's for someone. Very, very particular message there. Someone here fucked with your energy. Uh-huh. Your guides are not dumb. It's not because you weren't protected, I repeat. Return. <laughs> I'm seeing 50 cents face here. Okay, very particular message. Your sister... I'm going to tell you now, spirit, listen, spiritual healers on this planet, you're so protected that if, so I say it, yes, if you are to be so-called hit with a projectile of energy, a black magic, a projectile, okay, you have people who have elected themselves to be the target. The black magic hits somebody else that don't hit you. I'll tell you right now. They elected themselves to be in that position. Okay? So something here, one of your... I'm here on your sister or your sibling or... Someone here around you took the bait. I hear it like that. Took the fish. Took the cord attachment. Spirit says... It's not even your life. I'm hearing Leo. I keep hearing Leo. It was someone else. And that person, I will tell you, will be given back their soul sevenfold. And that is due to you. I hear it like this. Okay? Your guides and your ancestors knew this person was going to try that. Your bloodline was the strongest that could take that hit. Because guess what? We can't give it back to them like that unless they try on us. Once more in this lifetime. And that's why your guides let this so-called frog free themselves. I hear it like that. They let this frog try on you. That's right. Because they need proof. They need that evidence. Your guides, this is the, this is the astral FBI. That's your family. That's your starseed. I'm talking to my chosen ones here. That's who follows you. You better trust that they know what they're doing. And they weren't scared. They weren't scared. Because they set the shit up from the beginning. To feel the proof. Your guides wanted to give this person a chance 
to prove that they lost the light. You could have been, um, some of you, an example of love for this person. But the trick was for them to accept it in themselves. It was gratitude. They didn't have it. Cancers. Okay? So, now, what we see is the door is completely shut. You have nothing anymore in this contract with this person. And what comes in now is this person's karma. It's step by step. It's a procedural sort of thing. So, mm -hmm, your guides want you, Cancer, to know that you played your part and what's done is done and it's over. And you don't have anything that you owe them and they do owe you. But it's not something that was taken from you. It's something that you have yet to see and it's your good karma. And the test has been taken and the test was a test. Everybody takes tests. No one is exempt. And this person definitely tried to write in pencil. I'm hearing that as well. And so this is where we say the karma is not just what you happen between the two of you. It's about spirit and this person. Spirit gave this person, I say it again, they wanted to see, they gave this, this opportunity for this frog to trip and fall on the holy grail to trip and fall to the future you this is not about you cancer it's about something that you know it's about something of your history it's about something you're related to and so they wanted this person to sort of follow your scent to follow you because they know where you're headed to and they wanted to understand how this person truly <laughs> incarnated. Okay, because before we incarnate, guys, we, yes, we have, and I'm a channeler, I'm a star seed oracle, if it's your first time, the, we have a certain room we go into. My guides have revealed this to me. We go into a room where we are given absolute free will. More free will than we would see, well, the free will that we see on planet Earth, but as in, in, in spiritual form. And they wanted to know. They needed to do a test on this person. They wanted to know. What saw you through them?